Today you're going to be making a lava lamp. What you need to do is take your piece of drawing paper, put your name on it, first name Mrs., last name Stager. I'm going to also put on here period eight and then my homeroom number as well. When I'm done, I'll flip it over and then I'm going to choose between two different templates. I'm going to either pick this one or I can pick the, a thinner one like this. I'm going to choose the, this one today. And what I'm going to do is line this up on my paper so that the bottom touches the bottom of my paper. So it pretty much fills up the entire paper. And I'm going to then go ahead and I'm going to outline the entire thing. <coughs> now that I'm done doing that, I'm going to be making these curved lines here to give that illusion of, the, uh, of, of this being rounded. So what I'm going to do is take this point here and this point here, and I'm going to draw a curved line going across like this. After I'm done doing that, I'm going to do the same thing with this point and this point here, and I'm going to make a curve like this. The same thing can be done with a thinner one. After I've done those two lines, I'm going to go to the top, I'm going to come down just a little bit, a little bit, two fifths, and I'm going to draw a curved line going the opposite direction like this. So this line and this line match this line and this line will match. When I'm done doing that, I'm going to paint in my background. So, I want to talk to you about what colors you're going to use. We're going to do something that's called an analogous color scheme. So, analogous colors are three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So, for instance, orange, yellow, and green. They're analogous, they're side by side. Red, or orange, yellow. Yellow, red, orange, orange. Yellow, green, blue. These are all analogous colors. So what I'm going to do is choose my three colors. I'm going to be doing yellow, green, and blue. I'm going to write this down in my back of my paper. Yellow, green, blue. This is so I remember what colors I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do then is then decide which one of those three colors I'm going to do for my background. I think I'm going to do yellow for my background. So I'm going to take my yellow paint, and you've done this before, I'm going to use my water and my brush, and I'm going to dip this in the yellow paint. Pull my brush down. I'm going to outline like this, dipping my paintbrush in the water as I go. It's okay if you get on the table, you can wipe that up later. And then what I'm going to do is fill in my background then.
and I'm going to just keep painting like this. Nice lines. Turn in my paper if needed. until I have the whole thing filled in and painted neatly. Like this. When I'm all done and I have all my spaces filled, I can go back in too if I need to go over top. This paint dries very quickly. So if I need to go darker in some areas, I can. When I'm done doing this, I'm going to take this and put this on the black drying rack. And then I'm going to clean up my area like we've done before. Tomorrow what we'll do is make the lava in the inside. And then you're also going to be painting the tops and the bottoms with black paint. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. Once you're finished and you cleaned up, you can go on to the early finishers on Schoology and you can pick an activity from there.